So what's happened is that uh, the osteoarthritis has worn down my tibia and fibia. The left leg is worn more dramatically than the right, but the right is not far behind. And uh, about a year and a half ago, I had uh, surgery for torn meniscus on my left knee. And uh, when he got in, the, the orthopedic surgeon said, it's not from an accident. Uh, he said, your cartilage is flaked like uh, crab meat. And so there's a lot of just floating loose cartilage. And the pictures that he took shows a lot of inflammation in the cartilage, which is not good. <laughs> so um, we did x-rays last week, and, and had, he saw significant deterioration in the bones from the last x-rays he did, which, by the way, have really ugly veins. And I doing this in front of a group of people if this weren't my baby girl. <laughs> Nobody gets to see my legs. Actually, I think you have nice legs. <laughs> Sometimes it's in my shoulders, my elbows, my uh, ankles, my feet. It just travels and I, I have no idea how to predict where it's going to hurt. Okay, well here's what I'd like you to do. Would you just mind just walk up and down that section and come back, just so we can have a baseline of what you feel like right now. Okay. She's got, you know, osteoarthritis. The muscles around there are so fried from trying to support a structure that has been worn down over time um, that I could totally see why green would be awesome. Remember green for joints. I was mentioning green for joints. Well, this is certainly starting itself right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a few different steps of treatment after each one. I know this is a lot of work. I just want to see if you'll walk after each one so I know which one's actually helping you the most. That's the proof is in the pudding, is what they say. So this is the circling the dragon treatment. Do a very low electrical conductivity in this knee area. I'm not getting anything coming through. It's nice and wet. We would frequently get zeros. Yeah. Right in those. Well, we got to charge you up. <laughs> these are called the eyes of the knee, and these are often needled with acupuncture needles right here. circling the dragon, local treatment. I'm going to do the same thing on this knee now. You know, what I'd like is just do that little walk and see if it's the same, better, or worse in every case from that first technique. So let's say if, what percentage of improvement if you're going to guess, let's say from what, when you came in this room until now, did you get from that first technique? But just rough estimate. Mm, that's always hard. Mm -hmm. um, I would say about a 35%, okay. maybe 40%, somewhere in there. That's very, yeah. that's very typical of what I get from circling the dragon. Usually there's, a, there's almost always an improvement. It's anywhere from 30 from none sometimes, but usually 30% up to 60% just from circling the dragon. But even if you get a lot of relief from circling the dragon, it's, it may not last as long as if you do the other ones with it. So um, what I'm going to do is now change to pro preset number two, dermatome and distal. And so I'm going to do a positive there and negative on the knee. So that's the, that's the first option one polarized treatment. Same quadrant number I was talking about yesterday. So, Breathing deeply, please. That was a good one. 
I'll do a gallbladder 34, which is the. Yeah, we still, okay. got a, still, still have the gallbladder meridian, though, yeah. thankfully. Yeah. It's like the train station is removed, but the railroad is still there. <laughs> That's right, there you go. Okay, take, please take another walk and let's see if it's the same, better, or worse than what you had just a few minutes ago. Preset two? Preset two, yes. I'm walking a lot faster. Yeah. <coughs> it is better. Um, even the back for the meniscus is, is feeling better. Good. Yeah. So how much better? Okay. Mm -hmm. I would say from last time we were at 30, I'd say we're 65. Maybe? Percent better? Yeah. yeah. Yay. So. All right. Yes. So this is obviously a very challenging case, but she actually has torn of cartilage. I mean, this is not, you know, an easy case, but really the t if I wasn't talking and narrating, that was about a total of five minutes of work that I just did, maybe five to seven minutes of work. So it shows you how quickly this stuff can help. And it's also the importance of muscle testing, because getting the right color makes a big difference. Um, you know, other follow-up could be putting interferential pads around her knee and having her do some exercise, but that's because with all that degeneration, you have to do that just a little bit. You wouldn't want to do tons of that. And I would have her do nothing with resistance. Yeah. I would just have her do gentle, like just through a very small range of motion at the knee, just a little flexion and a little extension with the infer interferential pads on. Um, and deep blue, we use deep blue a lot. Um, Can we watch? Yeah. Yay! Uh, yeah. Just on the microphone, just give me a final comments, please, Billy. Well, it just feels so, so much better. Um, feels, <coughs> my muscles feel stronger, and the pain is significantly reduced. Yeah. It's a happy thing. It is a very happy thing. Yes. Yay. Okay. Yes. Well, this is true multimodal microcurrent you're seeing here.